panspermi life delivered to Earth from non-terrestrial fluxes of microscopic organic matter encapsulated in agglomerated dust material. Can a particulate matter initiate an archive life? Dust becomes dirty when it is charged with human emotional subjectivity and categorically cleaved, known or unknown, intentional or accidental, functional or leftover. Materially, dust potentiates collective being. Dirt exposes a system. Dust can be an investigative tool to derive compositional description of gases, liquid and solid matter, geochronological identification, source tracing, highly complex remote sensing, resource flow models. At present dust is just barely computable. Once dust is airborne, it is considered an aerosol. Dust enters the highest reaches of the atmosphere and circulates there. Such aerosolized dust is visible, yet adequately light for movement by wind, gravity and electromagnetic forces. Far from inert, those dust cycles in atmospheric media perform many functions in diverse biogeochemical systems. Industrial processes, extraction, construction, agriculture among many, drive an increasing amount of circulating dust in the atmosphere, complicating greenhouse, gas-driven, anthropogenic global warming. Such climatic processes and atmospheric characteristics of dust flow slowly accumulate and imprint themselves on the surfaces of Earth. Planetary dust is only imaginable through application of advanced computational technologies. In an attempt to model distant climate conditions, dust is an agent of information linking elements and processes together. Amid concerns for rising sea levels, a third of the Earth's terrestrial area will be subject to drier conditions due to hotter temperatures and changing precipitation patterns. Winds sweep the salt and sea and respiratory illness in the Cauchala Valley source, pretending failure of hydro-industrial agriculture empires past. Previously temporary dust bowl conditions may be an enduring climatic fact of the North American Southwest. One of the primary U.S. farming heartlands in the Central Plains, spanning Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas and Nebraska, are projected to become more arid. This aridity is not simply due to less rain in the future, but because sustained hotter temperatures will drive evaporation to dry out the rich soils. The largest areas with high dust intensities are in the Northern Hemisphere, a broad dust belt that extends from the west coast of North Africa over the Middle East, Central and South Asia to China, drains throughout the Soviet Union to water the Central Asian deserts. By 1995, the Aral Sea had lost three-fourths of its water and half of its surface. The newly exposed seabed is a source of over 100 million tons of natural and industrial salts, agricultural poisons, runoff fertilizers, military biological warfare test site leftovers, disposed construction debris, and other life harmful industrial chemicals blended into friable pre aerosol silent crusts. Proximal and stable atmospheric stratification derived from sharp topographic differences drives a newly documented weather phenomenon, salt dust storms. A strong currents of air traverse the Aral Sea from east to west. Its distinctive dust is detected on glaciers of Greenland, in forests of Norway, in Moscow smoke, on fields of Belarus and in the blood of penguins in Antarctica.
Thus, deterritorializes and destabilizes terrestrially fixed notions of sovereign borders, ecosystem zoning, and effectual decision-making impact distance. Dust flows transmit and are retransmitted through the atmosphere, penetrating every ecosystem and nutrient cascade. Such teleconnection patterns reflect large-scale changes in the atmospheric waves and jet streams and influence surface temperatures, rainfalls, storm events, and other varied weather phenomena. Aerosolized particulates as pathogen-antigen delivery platforms have long been studied by biological weapons programs and their countermeasure, vaccine programs. Dust is a potent biologistics problem spawned new fields of xenobiology and material science. Outside of immediate industrial biologistics interest, dust contains vibrant microbiota processes of its own. Dust storms also inject substantial quantities of living microorganisms into origin-distant ecosystems. Dust and sandstorm-derived microbiota contain as of yet barely articulated spectacular diversity of bacteria, viruses and fungi feeding on and cohabiting with each other. With more than a quadrillion quadrillion viral types on Earth, less than 0.0002% pose a known threat to human health. Human purity-oriented lifestyles have decreased exposure to pathogens that are critical to the development of early life-generated immune mechanisms. Contemporary commonsensical obsession with cleanliness contaminates imagination by spreading the ideology of impurity into debates regarding exploration of other planets. Purity mismaking is reproduced on the scale of the pale blue dot. Dust originating from a 309 trillion kilometer distant supernova's arrival on Earth's biosphere is thought to be a major event in evolutionary biology. Earth and solar system have never been compartmentalized. A roughly estimated 15 kilotons of cosmic dust infiltrates the atmosphere every year, delivering energy, mass, and information into our biome. Dust has always been there. Dust predates cognition. Dust exceeds current boundaries of thought, flowing and transmitting on scales not yet developed. Logarithmic distance scalar exercises with an unfixed cosmic eye leave entire planets appearing as microparticles in their host star systems and galaxies. Cowering in the defined color void, we turn inward. Dark forest theory is intimately and microscopically operationalized, setting the boundary of a planet as an isolated system from other planets. Current planetary protection policies are focused on accounting of bacterial and dust material, entering or leaving the planet with protection as an ambiguous two-way street. In 2007, 39 fungal species were collected from the International Space Station's HEPA filters. In 2016, a consortium of non-spore-forming bacteria was in dust samples taken from the outside of the ISS porthole. From 2015 to 2018, a bacteria known for its extraordinary capacity to survive high level of radiation was exposed to extraterrestrial conditions outside of the ISS. The cell samples did not exhibit any last damage. As humans look ever outwards for space exploration, forward contamination is now quietly accepted as inevitable. Military material science legacies and astrobiological milestones 
Coalesce as a potential outlet for engineering Earth's dust within human-mediated gradient cascades of mutual automation, on which our immediate and long-term survival is contingent. Dust cosmology unfolds possibilities for viable planetarity of Earth and responsible space exploration. It's unavoidable that microorganism transportation and delivery to extraterrestrial space will exceed those of intended human species. The capacity of our microbiota shareholders to adapt their properties for long-term survival exceeding our own species in outer space requires consideration. Properties and functions of dust are entangled with human activities and effects on Earth as co-producing and active agents of planetary ecosystem within larger interplanetary dynamics. Dust is a cosmological agent.